So I've opened a Revit project and I've loaded the MyCAD elevator family and the two door families that go along with it. So let me show you how it works. So within this one family, there's um, multiple graphic options that are available. In fact, all these graphics that you see back here are derivatives of this one family. So if I click on the family, the types that we created ahead of time are either to show a cable-based elevator or a piston elevator. So these two over here are showing like there's a a uh, counterweight in the back whereas the other ones are showing a piston elevator. So when I click on that family currently it is showing the piston front door opening the door centered and then here's the door at the side and then a piston elevator with the door at the front and back and uh, with the door centered or at the side and then you can go up and switch to the cable versions with door centered or door at the side. So all those different options are available within the family now. How do we get there? There are a bunch of different type parameters. So if I click on edit type, um, you can see there's parameters for the overall hoistway width and depth, which are these outer lines, as well as the door width. And then we have checkboxes here to show the counterweight. So right now it's shown. If I clicked on that and hit apply, you'll see the graphic update so it no longer shows that. Click apply and it'll show again. Uh, checkbox for centering the door, hit apply, you can see the door shift over. And we also have the graphic here so that um, you can change the appearance of a front or front and rear. So if I change the front and rear and hit apply, it changes the graphic accordingly there. So a bunch of different options in, built into the family to give you the graphics that you want. So these are really two dimensional families, but maybe I should say they're, they're two and a half D. Um, when you place this graphic in plan, there are also heights associated with it. So I have a shaft height and a pit pit depth. So this is starting at level one and basically there's a volume extending around the shaft that drops down four feet below this level and goes to eight feet above. So if I switch to the level two plan right now, this elevator will not display because it doesn't go, it's not high enough to go to level two. Whereas these other elevators, if I click on them, you can see they got a 20 foot shaft. They are taller and they will display. So let me switch over to the level two plan and you can see exactly that. Only that bank of elevators showing and not the other one. Now, if I want the other one to show, I simply have to go in here and click on it and change the shaft height to some appropriate value. So I'll use that same 20 foot value. And when I return to the other plan, it is now visible. So what's going on from the 3D point of view is yeah, if I switch to that point of view, you can see there's this volume, this box that surrounds it. And as long as this goes through the cut plane of the view, it will show in all your plans. So we think that's great. So you can place the elevator once at one level, adjust the height accordingly, and it will show in all the plans as required. So the other thing we built in the library were door families, special door families. Now one of the problems if you use regular doors with elevators is these regular doors would show on a door schedule and you wouldn't want those to display. So we built a couple different separate families that aren't technically doors but just look and behave like that. So we have a single door and a double door and you can see the two of them on plan. Here's a single door and a double door. So when you're using the centered version of the door then you use this double option and if it's a single door then you use the other one. And of course there's parameters in there so that you can adjust the uh, the dimensions accordingly. So show frame, frame at the uh, top and the side, and the overall heights and widths are also on there for you. So that is a look at the MyCAD elevator family library. Thanks for watching.